Okay, putting on my glove again. In my wood shop. Hi, dusty woodworkers. Oh, tape. How are you doing today? Today we're gonna learn about parts of the drill press. Yes, it's a real drill press and I'm a real person. So, let me back up. That is a drill press. Yeah, that's a sexy drill press. First things first, drill press. Well, it has a drill bit. If you're looking at this drill press, you know that's a drill bit. Well, what holds the drill bit? That's called the chuck. The chuck can get tightened. Whoa, there I am. The chuck gets tightened to tighten our drill bit. And what tightens our chuck? Kablam! The chuck key. If that's the chuck, that's the chuck key or chucky because it tightens the drill bit. So we have a drill bit, chuck, chuck key. What do we drill? Well, we drill a board, silly, but that's usually on our table. Table saw has a table. We put the board on it. Drill press has a table. We put the board on it. So that's another part. This is called your table. This whole thing up here, some people just call it the head, some people call it the headstock, but this is usually the big guts and bananas of the drill press. That would be called our head. This feeds the drill bit into our work. So this is our feed lever hand wheel. Or you could say it goes up and down. No, don't say that, that's wrong. So this is our feed hand wheel. There's three of them because you just never know where you're gonna grab. This, I mean, right there. Boom ski. That's the on and off button. If you don't know what that is, just by looking at it, please don't use this tool. Okay, stop. This lever over here, and la 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 la. This little dude is right there. Which is like that guy. This lever tightens where this motor is. This motor can go in and out because we can adjust speeds up here. And in order to adjust these belts, I have to be able to loosen these belts. So this knob here loosens the travel on my motor. This lever just helps to push the motor in and out. So if we had to give these a name, this would be my motor adjustment lever, and this would be my motor tightening knob. Up here, we have pulleys and we have belts. They control speed. And if you see, drill speed chart, and it shows you where everything goes. But these are our speed pulleys, or you could just say pulleys, and these are our belts for adjusting our speed. This big tall guy down here, he goes all the way down and all the way up. That's our column. The column supports the head, which is attached to our base. This adjusts the height of my table. So knowing that, you could probably say that this is my height adjustment lever or height adjustment knob or height adjustment crank or height adjustment you know that it's gonna adjust the height. You've done it before. If I go over here, this tightens my table. I can't move my table up and down if this is locked, so I have to loosen this. So this could be called my table adjustment locking lever or lock the table, however you wanna call it. As long as you know what it does, you can tell people, it's that little hand lever that locks the table so you can't move it up and down. You're a winner! Down here, la 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 la. This is our base. The base supports our column, which supports our table, which supports our head, which has our pulleys, which has our belt, which has our motor, which has our locking knob, which has our feed lever, which has our chuck, which has our chucky, which has our drill bit, which has our table and our piece of wood. See, it's that easy, everybody. If I had to give you one tip, if you notice, there's slots in here. See that slot? You're supposed to mount it to the floor, which is the bottom. Because all the weight's up there. It's really, really tippy. It's really top heavy. Mount it to the floor. If we had one more part, see that little track? 
that's my track that this rides in. If I didn't have that track, this would just slide straight down when I loosen that lever. There's a gear in here that puts it on the track so I can crank it up and down without pulling it. It's really nice. So that would just be called my table adjustment tr track. Yeah, we'll say track. Well, thanks you Dusty Woodworkers for checking out how the drill press looks, all the different parts, and I'll see you next time.